We are back with more local artist spotlight, still talking about the big premiere event coming up later this month, Vert. We had the leading lady earlier, and now we're going to talk with the leading man. We have on the phone right now, Brian Stoll. Good morning, Brian. Thanks for joining us on 96FM. Hey, great hearing from you, Tracy. How's it going, buddy? Everything is going well. Hey, we are talking about Vert coming up, and you were the leading man, kind of the hero of the movie, right? We just want to learn a little bit more about Brian Stoll. Who is Brian? I'm a local actor and uh Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I do travel a lot out of state, out to Ohio, Maryland, and wherever anybody could use my services. Um, you know, I work with kids up here in Pennsylvania, um, and I just have a passion of, you know, acting. I mean, to, to be honest with you, that's who I am. So how long have you been acting, Brian? How, what's your kind of your experience, your resume look like? So back when I was like in high school, I did, you know, um, your typical stage plays, stuff like that, musicals for the school. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, I went to the military for 10 years, so I did nothing at all. But I came back <laughs> out in, like, 2007. It took me a little while to get into the acting scene here in Pittsburgh. Um, very tight-knit community. But I'd say about 2008. Since 2008, I've been doing either semi-national commercials. I was Mindhunter on Netflix. I had a small role in that. Nice. Um, you know, I was on No Knock List um, with Dizzy Boy, another film that Dizzy Boy's done. It was my first experience with Dizzy Boy, and um, it was a really, really good experience. Jeff Little and Rich, I mean, they, they really have an eye for what they're doing, and you can tell they're growing, and every time they do a new project, they're just getting better and better. So with Vert you know, being the leading man, the kind of the hero, give us a little bit of a breakdown on your character and the challenges maybe that you, you dealt with that might be unique to a sci-fi thriller. So my name's Joe Wilson in the film, and I'm a, a Vert technician. So I, I, I basically... In layman's terms, or today's terms, I'm a coder. So I go in if there's something wrong with, like, a program, for instance, like Facebook or Twitter or something like that. I go in and I fix the problem. And in this film, uh, just brief synopsis is, you know, when I'm in there coding one time in the virtual reality world, all of a sudden I notice something that these profiles of people just start vanishing, like, out of nowhere, like they never existed. Mm -hmm. And uh, one profile in particular um, vanished out of nowhere. And then the next day, that person was found dead. So over the course of the film, my character starts noticing more and more things happening in that virtual world that translates over to the actual world and discovers that there's someone behind it all that's trying to make these people disappear like they never existed ever. And he's taking them out in real life and also getting rid of their you know, thumbprint. Sure. In the virtual world. Sure. So I've seen some photos um, from on Facebook that, that Dizzy Boy has uh, posted, and there's a, a lot of action scenes. And you've you really you did your uh, your own stunts, right? You you have no stand-in stunt, oh, yeah. man, right? Who needs that? No, yeah. Who needs that? Yeah. <laughs> Angelo and I really beat the crap out of each other. <laughs> so it took a lot of choreography. We we spent a lot of time at a wrestling ring okay. um, and worked with one of the uh, stunt coordinators at the wrestling ring. And uh, I mean, it was a dance. I mean, we literally. We, we worked those fight scenes out for hours on a soft mat. So when we got back in the studio and had to do it on the hard floor, right. we were really able to take the fall and not hurt ourselves too bad. How was it with the green screen? Is that your first experience with green screens? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I might have had to do green screen once or twice before, but I was sitting in a chair and not really moving. I was playing like a newscaster or something. Okay. But for but for Vert, like, nope, I was in a whole world. I was in a whole room that was green, and there was a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot of light, so there was no shadow, and it gets really, really hot. <laughs> really, really hot, really fast. All the behind the scenes, you know, being an actor is not always, you know, what it's cracked up to be, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I love it. The best part is, is like, all the other actors in the film, like, you can tell we're in, on that green screen, we all see the same world. We all are looking at the exact same things, even though nothing exists and it's not there. We spend so much time together off camera talking about how this world looks to us and telling each other, you know, what's happening and how we believed it was going to come out that, you know, we were able to interact with everything in this virtual world that doesn't exist. We're able to interact with it in the exact same manner so you believe it's a real place. Right. So we are talking to Brian Stoll, leading man of Vert, which is going to have a red carpet event coming up on August 27th in Marietta. Brian, we hope to see you there, and we're looking forward to seeing the movie for sure. Thanks, Tracy. I appreciate you, buddy. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon, sir. We are not through with interviews yet. We are going to talk about the second annual Jeep Jam coming up in mere minutes, so keep it locked right here to today's Best Mix 96FM.